Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Creator on Wheels. Welcome back to one more of uh, Creator Travel Log. Um, this is a video wherein when I travel to places, I just figure out if that place is worth for you when you are traveling, worth staying or worth exploring. And um, this time around, I'm in uh, a kind of like a four day trip with my family and uh, I've come in my uh, Mintu instead of Dusky. So it's like family. So we just came out in the car and uh, it's a four-day trip as I told you, we are in day two right now. We started off yesterday from Bangalore and um, we first visited Hornado and then we came down to Shringeri. So currently where I am staying right now is Shringeri and I am staying in this very beautiful um, small homestay very close to the temple. Uh, I'll be showing you what this homestay is all about and it, whether it's uh, worth staying here and all those stuff in just a bit but uh, let me give you a quick uh, roundup of what really happened yesterday so we started at around um, seven o'clock in the morning uh, took the Kunigal Hassan road and um, stopped over at the new favorite uh, breakfast hangout of mine which is the Kitchen Haldi Mane Hotel uh, we figured it out last week uh, when we were on the way to Mysore this place I mean it's, this place is there for some time but uh, we usually used to stop further down the road but uh, tried it out last week and we found out that the place is uh, really very good and they have a lot of varieties uh, especially the dosas and uh, my personal suggestion is to try out the uh, millet dosa which is a Navani dosa what they have and after that uh, we took the Hassan road and from Hassan uh, towards uh, Mudigere and so like rather via Bellur, Mudigere and uh, Kotigehara and again stopped over at Kotigara for a tea break and uh, tried out this uh, Nir Dosa which was kind of like a most recommended thing uh, in Kotigara like uh, earlier like in past when I used to come here to Shringeri or Agumbe and all we used to stop over at Kotigara but there used to be hardly any places over here but uh, this time around the entire junction is filled with all small hotels selling near those so stopped over at one of the place which is called i think hotel anil uh, which was again one of the most recommended ones uh, tried out the near those here i would say it was okay not really that great um something uh, not really up to the expectation or the hype that it has created on the Google reviews. But anyway, had a quick uh, near dose, had a tea, then uh, came down to Hornado. Hornado, fortunately, the temple was empty, not much of a crowd, probably because it was a Friday. And then we had a quick darshan and we came down to Shringeri. Now, in Shringeri, uh, it was almost uh, night, seven o'clock when we reached, and we came down to this place called Keremane Homestay. Uh, this is a place which I'm trying out for the first time here. Uh, last time around, I had stayed in a homestay uh, which is quite close to the temple again in the same uh, road. So this is one of the homestays which was recommended by the other homestay because they are not yet open because of all the uh, COVID uh, restrictions and all those stuff. So in this place, um, it's called Keremani Homestay. They have about uh, five rooms and uh, three of the rooms have like triple accommodation. One of them have uh, accommodation for four, like they have four beds and another one is slightly bigger which has an accommodation for about six people it's kind of, kind of like a mini dorm or a dorm kind of thing um, quick first impression the place is beautiful it's uh, around like a 160 acre um, coffee plantation they have spices uh, adike and all the stuff they have a mini nursery also in their place and it's beautiful green all around uh, woke up to the sound of uh, peacocks and other birds at around 5 30 in the morning today so it's a very early start and then I spent my morning flying the drone. Uh, the scene was really fantastic. It was very foggy and it was beautiful. So probably in another few minutes from now, you'll see the footage of all the property from up above and also the scene around the foggy uh, Shringeri, as I would call it as. And um, that's what it is. The rooms are pretty good. It's not too huge. It's a very typical family-run homestay. Uh, it's um, neat and small, it's clean most importantly and the food is home cooked food. Uh, last night we had dinner here only and the dinner was really very tasty. So dinner wise it was very good. Uh, the breakfast is due now. Uh, probably they are just waiting for me to come down to have the breakfast. So this is the homestay. It's called the Keremane homestay. Uh, this is very close to the temple. Uh, like uh, just before uh, the temple there is a small junction. I think I, they call it a 
ministry or something i'll, I'll just uh, link the property um, google maps location in the description below you can check it out but uh, it's quite interior from the main road so not much of a traffic sound and all those stuff and even after you come about like i think four or five kilometers you will be bumping into this particular gate and once you get past this gate you'll have to travel another um, half a kilometer or so let's just go in so you'll have to travel for another about half a kilometer in this path it's all uh, coffee plantations and spices all around and they have few other uh, things as well it's beautiful when the, the rooms are uh, compact and cozy not too luxury or anything but it's it's neat and clean that's the main thing the best thing i heard about this uh, homestay this morning is that uh, it's i mean rather one thing i knew about already is that this place is family only they are very strictly for family only but um, what they did mention to me uh, in the morning was they're open for bikers and cycling folks so if in case you are one of those guys who are a part of a biking community um, and uh, you want to visit Shringeri, I mean, like you want to visit Chikmagalur and you want to stop over at uh, uh, Shringeri for say like a night or so and you want like a neat safe place, I'm very explicitly telling you a safe place for you to park your bike, be confident that it's all safe and sound and also have some uh, yummy home cooked food then this is definitely something I would uh, recommend that you come down and explore and it's like as i told you it's a bit interior from the main road and even after the gate it's it's all secure here even after you come inside the gate you might be seeing that i am walking for quite some distance now and um, your vehicles will all be safe so that's one thing so they have all the uh, farm related uh, place go down and all those stuff here so we just came from here when the gate opened somewhere in the left hand side we just came down and once you come down this is the path which leads to the homestay and as you can see it's beautiful green lush and it was filled with birds and you know like you would have seen my previous videos i am somebody who just love it when there are bird sounds all around and especially when you get a chance to wake up to bird sound that's a perfect start for the day so this is exactly the place and i'll show you a few footages of this place uh, which I shot this morning and also post some for pictures as well um, I'll you can contact the phone number in the description for all the pricing and all those stuff but uh, from my side I would say definitely it's a recommended place for you to come down and stay here uh, if you're a family or probably if you're coming as a part of some biking group or a biking trip as well so this is a definitely a recommended place so as I told you I am right now in the day two of the trip this afternoon um, living towards um, Chikmagalur I'll be staying in one another yeah. see that's a barbet so uh, this afternoon we'll be living towards Chikmagalur we'll be staying in one other resort probably I'll vlog about this in the evening or maybe first thing tomorrow morning when I go for a walk so I'll let you know how that place is how good that place is especially if you're a, a biker or somebody who wants to travel with family and all I don't want to explore new place, so I'll let you know. So this is a Keremani homestay. Thank you and see you soon.